Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Happy Friday. Yay, it's a Dollar Tree haul. Uh, trying to get back into doing these things. It was another miserable and rainy day today, so I figured I'd take another trip over to that bigger Dollar Tree that I like to go to. And um, like last time, it wasn't crowded at all. I felt very comfortable in there, and this time I don't think there was more than two other people in the entire store, so I literally ran into no one. So as long as I can feel safe going out and doing this, that's what I'm going to do because I really miss doing these. So I did pick up a few things that I needed. Um, I grabbed another one of these. I've been using this stuff like crazy, the antibacterial spick and span. Uh, I think this is a great deal for a buck. Um, it kills household germs, disinfectants, so... And I love this one because it doesn't have a really bad smell to it or anything. It's a very light scent of citrus, and it's a 22 fluid ounce bottle, so... It's a good deal. And then they did have the bigger boxes of tissues this time, so I grabbed a few more of these. Actually, I grabbed four. I only have two here, but I got two of the same of each pattern. And this one has the pretty flowers on it. Um, you get 148 two-ply tissues, and they're the Scotty's brand. So I got that one, and then I got, I love this pattern too. I think this is really pretty. So I grabbed these two patterns. So now I'm set on the bigger boxes of tissues. And then I grabbed, and I don't know what's going on. Every time I go, last week I got two of these, and this time there was only one left, so I grabbed it. And um, Brian has stuck up on these a little bit, but they're kind of hard to find right now. But these are the Vanilla Scent Tall Kitchen Bags. You get 10 in here, and they're the 13 gallon size, and I absolutely love these with the um, handles on them. They are my favorite by far. And then I picked up two of these... Um, hand creams because my hands are so dry from constantly washing and sanitizing and everything else it's they're absolutely awful so I wanted to give these a try and this is the lavender scent with shea butter it's 1.5 ounces and they smell really nice and they're a, a Greenbrier product Dollar Tree brand and this one is called vanilla sugar I haven't smelled this one yet I did pop the op other one open to smell it eh, it's not a bad scent um, it's not a real strong vanilla scent, but it, as long as it does the job, I just want to throw these in my purse and keep, you know, a couple here and there around the house. So then, the rest of this stuff is pretty much just little goodies that I decided to pick up this time. Now these things, silly as they may be, are these little army, plastic army guys, and yes guys, I got these for my birds to play with. Believe it or not, especially my one who loves to just pick up and throw things. So I can set these up on my kitchen counter and let him have a good old time of tossing them on the floor. But I thought that would be a fun little thing. It's 35 piece um, little army guys. So that's what I got those for. And then I picked up another pack of these, um, the round floral foam. I used up my last two the other day in a video that I did. So I wanted to grab a couple more of these. I like to keep them on hand. And you get a two-pack of these, and they're the uh, 4.8 by <clears throat> 0.75 inches round. So, yeah, I really like using those on a lot of things. And you can break them up if you need to and use them for stuff. And then I got another, a lot of the stuff I'm just replacing from things that I've been using here since I haven't been getting out. I got another um, bag of the Spanish moss to keep on hand. And then I got another one of the, this is my favorite to use because it's so nice and soft. This is called the Reindeer Moss. Um, and you get 12, 24 cubic inches, so whatever that means. But that is, I, I really like these a lot for doing floral arrangements and stuff. And then I picked up two of these bags of these stones. Well, actually they're, um, it's called sea glass, and I should have gotten maybe another bag or so, but I thought these were really pretty, and this will be great to do some um, decorating stuff for summer, to do some like beachy kind of things or something, and I just thought they were real pretty with the blues and greens in there, and it's, uh, you get eight ounces of them, so I grabbed two bags of them, I kind of wish I would have got a few more, because I think these are going to be fun to do something with. Of course, this is the store that has the crest crafters square section in it so I love this store and then I got a few more of these um, foam moss stones uh, I used up my other ones in a fairy garden so I wanted to replace these and have them on hand you get 10 of them in here and these are great to do your little fairy gardens and things with and they're just like um, they're just like a styrofoam 
and then they have like the moss looking stuff on the outside. They look really cute and different things. And then I picked up two more packs of these little mini trays. These are the ones that I like to use. I don't even think I have one here to show you that's open because I pretty much ruin them all the time. Um, I use it for like glues and paints and things and you get 12 of these little trays. Uh, these are in the party section where they have like the um, plastic champagne glasses and stuff for like weddings and things and all the little clear plastic bowls. So that's where I get these from. So now I'm good on these for a while and hopefully I can keep up with keeping them clean. Because I get busy, you know, I'm like painting stuff and I'm using glue in one and something else. And then when I'm done, I'm trying to edit my video and everything else. And then by the time I think of it again, they're all dried out and almost impossible to clean. So I just picked up a few more. And then, of course, I had to grab some more of the glue sticks. And I grabbed three packs of these. These are in the new uh, Crafter Square packaging. But I love the Dollar Tree um, glue sticks. I've never had any problem with them. They hold like crazy. Like I said, you get 16 in here. These are for the mini glue guns. So I'm set on hot glue for a little bit. And then I picked up in some in the wood uh, wood section, the crafting section. They had these little, like, I don't know, it's kind of like a pallet thing. I don't know what you want to call it. I don't know what they're calling it. They're calling it a wood pallet. There you go. And they're just these small little wood pallets. I thought these would be fun to do something with. So I picked up four of them. And, um... I don't know if it doesn't say how big they are on here. No, so I'd like to tell you guys how big they are. Just in case you guys want to know. So they're about six inches by four inches. So let's we'll figure out something nice to do with those. I thought they'd be a great thing to come up with some craft ideas. And then they had the other regular looking like palettes. Um, you know, that people like to do projects with. And these are, these are a lot smaller than those. These are only um, about four inches, not quite, by three and a half. But I thought they'd be cute. These would even be cute like in a little gnome garden. Stack some little stones or something on there for your gnomes to work in their garden. <laughs> but I grabbed four of them, so we'll come up with something. I don't know yet. But when I see these things, I kind of like to just grab a few because I know they don't last long. And when I picked up um, I think I got two of these. Yeah, I did. And these are the uh, wood wipe-off boards. It's like a little chalkboard here on a stand. But it has this little leg that pops out in the back so you can stand it up and write something on it. And I thought this would be really cute to do some kind of a um, DIY with. So I grabbed two of them and I just got an idea in my head. Hopefully I don't forget. <laughs> And then they had these wood signs. I'd seen these a long time ago, <clears throat> and then they kind of disappeared for a little while. But they have these home signs, and I thought those were really cute. They need to be sanded a little bit. They're very rough looking. But I got two of the home signs, and I thought that would be cute to do something with. And then I picked up two of the, the love signs. So... Yeah, I really like these. They're they're actually a pretty decent quality. They're not really thin, you know, you can see they're kind of a thicker wood than some of the things that they have. Let me get rid of this ruler here. But I like those. And then, what else did I get crafting this here? I picked up one of these um, butter dishes. I've seen a lot of people doing such cute crafts with these, and um, I thought this would be fun to do something with, too. You know, I see things and I'm like, wow, that's really cool. So I grabbed those and I grabbed some of these little salt and pepper shakers that people have been making into little mini vases and things. I thought that would be really fun. Um, I think that would be cute, like in, in the bathroom or something as a little decoration. Or you could do, I don't know, other things. We'll think of something to do. I mean, I don't want to do exactly what everybody else is doing, but I thought these are pretty cool crafting idea materials. And I think that's it for the, oh no, wait, I got these stickers here and this sign. This, I love these wall stickers. I picked this one up that says love, and then when you hang it up, it's supposed to look like this. I guess it's they're cut out. I don't know if they're cut out individually. No, the L and the O are cut out together, and the V and the E are also together. I suppose you could split them up if you wanted to, but they look like that when you put them up. So if you're going to decorate something pretty with that, 
I love the flowers on the letters. And then I got this one here. I love this one. This one's so cute. This one says laundry room, and then it has sort tomorrow, wash later, dry soon, fold maybe, and iron get real. I thought that was wonderful. And then when it all comes together, it looks kind of like that. So I figured this would be great to make a little sign with or something to hang in the laundry room. So I got one of those. And then I picked up one of these little surfboard things. I figured this would be great. I mean, it's cute the way it is. But I figured we can do some sort of a project with this. So I picked up one of those. I didn't really go into the seasonal section too much this time. Um, I don't know. I'm still kind of weirded out going out shopping. So I mainly stuck in the crafting section. And then a lot of these other things I found kind of on my way out. I picked up these little notepads. Um, this one says, I like your catitude. I thought that was cute. And they're little sticky notes. You get 50 of them in here. And he's real cute there with his sunglasses. And then, of course, I had to pick up a dog. And it says, the snuggle is real. I thought that was a cute little saying on there, too. And you can always use little notepads around. I know I'm always jotting something down, so I thought those would be fun to have. And then these I got, I picked up two more pairs of sunglasses because I love these. These are my favorite sunglasses from Dollar Tree. And I usually get the ones with the black hand, or the black arms on them. But these are the only ones I had, and that's fine. Um, but I really like these, but I tend to break them on. And for only a buck, I don't feel too bad about it. But I did grab another pair of these, and that was the only one they had. Of course, because I don't know, there's something about me in the Dollar Tree. I find something I like, and they have one. And um, then I picked up this pair. I thought this would be good, too, for the summer. And then to protect my sunglasses, I found these really nice eyeglass cases. I actually, after I bought this and I came home, I think I have one that has flamingos on it from last year. It might be a little bit different, though. But I really like it. It held up, <clears throat> excuse me, it held up really well. I used them all summer long, and I have like a little metal thing here where you pop it open and put your glasses in. And they're really thick. That's what I liked about these. And then I got this little toucan guy here. I thought that was real pretty for summer, too. And it's just called the eyeglass pouch. And I, I really like these. I, mean, I wish you guys... And it has, see on the inside, it has the real soft um, material in there so you don't scratch up your glasses. So you could put, you know, your regular glasses in there, too. So I grabbed two more of them to have on hand so I can protect... Hopefully these fit in here. These are kind of big. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. They fit right in there, no problem. Well, that's good. That's why I wanted these, to protect my sunglasses that I keep breaking. And I think the last thing I got, I did pick up a couple more of these um, pads for my desk. The um, poster board. I got two more of those because I mess these up. I try to keep them clean, but once I get going and painting and gluing, it's, it ends up all over. I picked up this little guy. I love this little llama tray. <clears throat> Excuse me, what does this say on here? I don't know, can't see it. Oh, they must have come off the sunglasses. It says something about polycarbonate lenses. Well, this does not have a lens. But anyway, I thought he was really cute. So I just picked him up. Sometimes I just pick up these little guys here to keep in my craft room. And I could throw some little things in here. And just little things that kind of just make you smile. And I thought that was adorable. So I think that is all I got this week at the Dollar Tree. Um, I got lots of goodies. And, yeah, hopefully the rain will stop now. I was glad it was raining because a lot of people just don't want to venture out when it's pouring rain. But I'm finding that that's the best time to go shopping and do things right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I will see you guys all next time. Have a great weekend, everyone.